This video will demonstrate how to change the complete membrane assembly or CMA and the regulator seat cartridge assembly in a Genie Direct Drive probe. In this video we're using a model number 755 because it has a membrane tip as well as an integrated pressure regulator. Once the probe has been safely removed from service, thread the probe rack down far enough to fully expose the shroud. Remove the two retaining rings and star washer from inside the tip of the probe. For probes with serial numbers between 47100 and 109850, clip ring pliers are needed to remove the bottom clip ring. The second retaining ring behind the star washer can be removed with a pick, a small flathead screwdriver, or a similar tool. For probes with serial numbers starting at 109851 or higher, Clip ring pliers are not necessary. Use a pick, a small flathead screwdriver, or a similar tool to remove the clip rings and star washer on these versions. Note, keeping a finger lightly pressed on the first retaining ring as you pry it out can help keep it from falling to the ground. All CMA kits come with new clip rings, a star washer, an Allen screw, the Teflon PTFE O-ring, and the Allen screw O-ring but the currently installed parts can be reused if not noticeably damaged. Thread the shroud up the probe rack until the membrane assembly is fully exposed. With the probe tip pointed up, use a 5-30-seconds Allen wrench to remove the Allen screw from the tip and slide off the CMA.
Using a half inch open end or adjustable wrench, use the regulator seat cartridge assembly wrench flats to unthread the cartridge from the probe rack. Also, tilting the probe tip upward will prevent the force transfer rod from falling out of the probe. Note, before installing the new regulator seat cartridge assembly, the regulator adjustment screw should be turned counterclockwise a few revolutions. This is to avoid working against the regulator spring and to avoid potential damage during cartridge installation. Be sure that the O-ring on the new cartridge has been pre-lubed by the factory. A-Plus uses Crytox GPL206. Thread the new regulator seat cartridge assembly O-ring end first into the bottom of the probe and use a half inch open end wrench to snug it in place. Be sure not to over tighten it. Note, the Teflon PTFE O-ring goes over the regulator seat cartridge assembly stem first. Slide the new CMA onto the stem of the regulator seat cartridge assembly. And the small black O-ring goes over the Allen screw threads. Thread the Allen screw back into the bottom of the regulator seat cartridge assembly stem to a torque value of 10 inch pounds. Thread the shroud downward over the CMA until it comes to a gentle mechanical stop. Install a retaining ring into the second groove within the shroud. Set the star washer against the retaining ring inside the shroud. The previously installed star washer can be reused if in good condition. Install the second retaining ring into the outer groove within the shroud to hold the star washer in place. The probe can now be reinstalled into the process line. Please abide by all safety precautions outlined in the probe's installation and retraction instructions.